All right, cars and cigars here. Coming at you with a pretty interesting video. I got a Maxwell supercapacitor for the system in my car. Now, to charge this, well, there's a couple different ways to charge these. I found I went out and I got a new battery charger from Harbor Freight. That uh, was like 50 bucks. I needed one anyway. My own one took a dump. Anyway, got a 2 amp load, a 10 amp load, and a 50 amp car start mode. I have it on 2 amp. And the only way I could get that thing to work it had to be plugged into a battery. It, it, for the longest time, I'm sitting there, and normally, I, yeah, I know, I should probably read instructions. But I'm sitting there, I'm thinking I got a defective unit. Until I read this little sticker here. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I didn't have a battery to use it, and I wasn't going to use it in the battery in my car. I probably could have, but I'm not going to chance it. I had an extra battery that I pulled out the other day. Good battery. So I threw the charger on it. Light came on. Everything started working. So I got that powered. Slow charge, trickle charge battery. I got another pair of cables hooked up to those cables. Come down here to the capacitor. You can see I'm at 12.78 right now. I figure I'll get it up to 13 and a half, 14. Should be good. Anyway, from that battery, negative, all the way over here to the capacitor. Right there on the capacitor. And I have... Excuse me here, this fell off. Get back to monitoring my voltage. So negative on the negative capacitor. Here's where it gets interesting. Positive, which is this one here. I couldn't find a light bulb. I tried a fan, I tried a couple other things. For some reason, they, uh, they wouldn't work. There's no voltage going through. So I saw a thing on speaker wire. There's a certain amount of resistance in speaker wire. So I hooked the speaker wire into the positive and the other end of that charging the capacitor. Now it started charging fairly rapidly. Uh, I got up to, got up to 10, 11, 10 or 11 volts kind of, eh, it took about maybe a minute, a minute or so to get up to about 10 volts. Then it st started really slowing down. And it so far has been about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. That's just my monitor there. It's been about seven, eight minutes and it's already at 12.85. Now the speaker wire, oh God, how, I don't know how many feet I have here, but this is your regular speaker wire. I just split it off of this one. So this is about, crap, I'll get it on the car. Don't hit the car. I don't know, maybe 12, 13 feet, give or take. Now that 12, 13, 12 or 13 feet is, there was minimal sparkage. There's like almost no sparkage. And like I said, it's been doing a great job on charging these. This thing don't like to sit idle. I'm already 
be at 12 8 12.89 almost 12.9 so I get it up to 13 and a half or so shouldn't take too long but anyway I couldn't find a video anywhere on exactly what to do I mean they a the couple of videos they, they give you the idea a couple others they they got this little like a headlight light bulb you know I'm not gonna sit here and solder go through a bunch of meaningless tedious bullshit so I remembered the resistance in the speaker wire and it is working beautifully beautifully I mean like I said two amp load off the battery and this is for only only for the first timers anybody if you're nervous if you, you're interested in getting one of these but you're kind of nervous about working it super simple you just got to be careful on how you do it and yeah we're gonna call that a video hopefully this works in what I want to do I've got a 4500 watt amp coming in the mail I don't know if that is gonna be enough or if I'm just gonna say the hell with it and hook that battery up also to the other battery so I don't know if I'll make a video on that but either way super simple way to charge your Maxwell capacitor 500 farads you can go up to 16 volts I'm not going to I'm only going to go to about like I said 13 and a half 14 almost at 13 oh, maybe I'll call it get a 13 um, see it's really weird with these Audis the battery is in the trunk like a lot of new cars but the thing is it's it's got a weird system it's got a weird okay so you got your alternator in the front that's charging I I again I thought I was having a charging problem I thought it was, it was doing all kinds of weird things anyways up front while it's running um, I checked there's a there's a positive post over here on this side of the car um, I checked voltage at, the, at that while it was running and it was 14 14 8 14 9 putting out really good voltage but for the life of me I haven't been able to figure out I got a little uh, cigarette lighter voltage meter it was showing that uh, 12 2 12 3 at the same time this is showing 14 almost 15. Uh, my amplifiers in the back I tested them they were also showing um, about the same voltage 12 2 12 3 and this is and back in the trunk this is coming right off the battery apparently I don't know if it did it for all years, certain years, or what. But apparently, these cars have... I don't know exactly what it's called. I haven't been able to find any information on it. I actually had to call an Audi dealer to figure this out. Um, but anyway, it's got basically... Basically, it sends voltage from up here to the back of the car only when it requires it back there so even though you might have some sort of a gauge or a meter that's showing say 12.2 volts on your dash or if you've got an amplifier like i do and back you take a your volt your uh, multimeter tested back there it's going to show about the same voltage 12.2 Meanwhile, while it's running, up here, 
is 14 to 15 volts. It's it's really weird. I don't I don't know why they do that. I don't know if it's to save the battery or what. But anyway, it basically it just sends enough battery power to the back to keep the battery fresh, to keep it um, at a point where it'll start the car and all that stuff. So, like I said, I uh, voltage maintenance, whatever, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm going to throw this on there. And it's already getting, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to call that good. So, if there's any worries or questions about the Audis uh, showing weird voltage, that's what they're doing. Because I also, I got a, I got a brand new battery for that thing because I thought it was going dead. Sitting here in the driveway, I would test everything, and it was literally showing like 12.2, 12.3. Um, to me, that's a dead battery. So, but it would start every time. It, no issues. No issues at all. It would start every time. So I put a new battery back there. Thinking this battery was bad. This is the original battery out of the car. Varda. I mean, that's Audi that original. And I tested it. And it was showing 12.5. 12.52. I'm thinking, okay, well, this battery is still showing good. What's going on with all this stuff? Anyway, that is my findings. So hopefully this video can help somebody who is going nuts with all this stuff. Anyway, have a good day, folks, or night in this case.